It's serious mode for Inca now as he changes the color from blue to teal. This is the ace match of the semifinals of Zotac Cup number 18. We have Master spawning as the purple Terran. Inca spawning as the teal Protoss on Tal de Amorto. This is the MLG version. We'll see what Inca decides to do and what Masa decides to do. It is a TVP again. This is the ace match. The winner goes on to play DDE. So will it be a TVT finals or will it be a TVP? Only time will tell Masa building up those SCVs and Inca building up them pros because this is the beginning of the game. Nine Pilot is going down and Inca going to scout right after that like he always does he's a big fan of that nine pylon scout and we'll see what masa does inca did lose game number two to a huge blunder with a force field placement he can't be happy with that at all and masa lost game number one due to just inca i think outplaying him in the end masa did say his computer starts lagging which can never be good at 200 200 battles especially when you have to do emps and micro out of storms the probe comes into this base, doesn't see a Terran. He will be going on to the next. And the barracks being built. Will he get gas? This is Tal Malta. Marine expansions are very, very common. So we'll see. Doesn't look like he will be. He is getting a gas right now. The probe is going to come, is going get to get a scout on the base. And, uh, well, that's nothing you can do about that. It's a nine pylon scout. It's almost guaranteed to get in your base and just see what you're doing to make sure you're not cheesing. Make sure you only have one barracks, etc., etc. And it gets in. So, yeah, he's going to see the gas, going to know, hey, you're not doing a marine fast expand. And there's so many counters to that marine fast expand that it really does matter if your opponent knows you're doing it or not. Especially if you play on the Korean server. As they see you do that marine fast expand and they are Protoss, chances are they're going to go blink stalkers. Let's see on this map. What they would do, they'd get Blink Stalkers, poke at your buildings, and then lure your Marines down to this area or down over here, and then Blink to the low ground, then Blink up on the high ground eventually. I wouldn't know if they do it on this position just because they're trapped. They need vision of the high ground. Over here, they do it in a heartbeat. Just poke at that barracks and then run back and Blink down if they ever get low on HP. And Marines kind of just split up to make sure no extra probe gets in. There goes a full wall off with the supply depots. And Masa still just on one gas. I'm waiting for him to take a second gas as that will be telling the timing if it's going to be like a 1-1-1. If it's going to be Hellions, if it's going to be Banshees. It's not going to be Banshees because you see this reactor. It could be a 1-1-1 with a slight variation. And one, by 1-1-1 one, 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 I just mean all in. I don't mean like the Destiny Cloud Fist build or what Husky says. By just getting a Barracks Factory and Starport, that is pretty common. That's the Factport build. It is going to be Hellions, actually. So, Masa is going to be massing Hellions. Big respect for him not 1 1 one -ing any of these matches in this BO3. Stalker is on the Watchtower. The Probe is on this Watchtower. So, he has pretty good vision of the map. Both players, oddly enough, decide not to expand. We have three gateways up for Inca. And a probe is going to be coming around. And see the bunker with two marines in it. And that will definitely probably scare the probe away. If he has quick reactions, he'll be able to get away. And he comes in and gets hit by the bunker. Tries to run past it, but no, he doesn't. So he's not quick enough. And now we got two Hellions for Masa. One Stalker and two Stalkers. So two Stalkers should be able to deal with those Hellions, but the Hellions can run by. And uh, Inca going to take an expansion now. And the Stalkers see the Hellions, and they are pulling back, but those Hellions start splitting up, and they are past the Stalkers. Those things are so speedy. And Whoopgate's now finishing, getting three Whoopgate's now. Going to be... Whooping in Stalkers to deal with this. The Sentry throws down the force field, blocks those Hellions outside, and now the Hellions do retreat as he knows reinforcements will be whooped in, or maybe not. Does sneak two Hellions past it, but two Hellions aren't really that threatening because they can't one shot workers or one volley them. One probe goes down. Oh, three go down there. 
And is he gonna get one more? Lining those probes up may have been a mistake, but it doesn't look like. Oh, it gets two more! Holy cow, these two Hellions are doing a lot more damage than you'd expect two Red Flame Hellions to do in a middle of the line. Ten workers killed. What? How does that happen? Some really nice micro coming out from Masa right there. And Inca moving out. Even has three probes, four probes. I don't know why he has so many probes. Siege tech is almost done. It looks like it won't finish. It's 40 seconds. If the stalkers were right about here, it would finish. But it's not going to be in time unless they take a break. But they're on this high ground, so they're going to get a few free volleys. No, they aren't. But the important thing is, there's no sentry here yet. Four sentries are still on the way. And he gets out of that bunker, oddly enough. He should stay in that. And siege check just about done. And now those tanks can't get in range. There are three tanks, though, so... He should easily be able to deal with these stalkers. Three tanks should be able to beat four stalkers. Pylon is going down. He's going to whoop in more. Bunker looks like it will burn to the ground. Or is it going to get salvaged? It does get salvaged. Now those sentries going to die. Stalker's going to try to micro the way back, but that could be a mistake. As units are here, and if they chase this, the tank could get a good volley. Does get one, and two stalkers fall because of that. Very nice call by Masa with that siege timing. And siege positioning all around. And I have to say, Inca, he is hurting right now. At this point in the game, Masa can probably siege up on the low ground right here, pull the Marines over, and do damage that way. So that natural for Inca, I don't see it living. Masa still at 26 SCVs. He is definitely one basing it. And Inca, even though he lost 10 SEVs, he's still at 40, which is 14 more than the Terran player. One tank sieges up, and he gets a volley, which kills a sentry. There are plenty of Marines up here, and tanks just gonna start sieging up. Force fields go down. Plenty of tanks just raining the ground shot cannons. And I don't know how you rain a ground shot, but they are. And the Nexus looks like it will be going down. What does Inca have? He's getting more and more stalkers. But the bunkers are going up. The contain is set. And you have more and more units being built. No SCVs, man. And a handful of Marines are going to deal with those probes. It is wise to take these out as they could sacrifice themselves into the tanks. And it looks like Inca is going to get eliminated. Masa going on to the finals for TVT against DDE.